I'm gonna give you the best DaVinci Resolve render settings for YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram Reels so that the video that you've just spent a ton of time on doesn't end up looking and sounding like trash when you export it and finally upload it. So starting off with YouTube, in DaVinci Resolve, if you're going to export for YouTube at 1080p, you're gonna have to change your project timeline settings to 1920 by 1080. So what you're gonna do is right click on the timeline right here, go to timelines and then go to timeline settings. Now make sure that your timeline resolution matches this right here. So it should be 1920 by 1080, then click okay. Now just go to the deliver tab right here and enter the file name you want right here and then choose the location you want this to render to. Now make sure that export video is selected right here and then under format, we're gonna change it to MP4. And then you're gonna see that the codec changes to H.264 and NVIDIA encoder. So I'm just gonna leave those right there. If you don't have the NVIDIA encoder, just use what you have, obviously that works fine. Now under resolution, we're gonna leave that the same and the same with frame rate. But the big thing now is under quality. So since this is a 1080p export, we need to change the restrict to, to 45,000. So I'm gonna go over here and just type in 45,000 after that, everything else on this page right here is fine. So moving over to audio, you can see that our codec is AHC and <laughs> that's, that's all we got. So AHC works fine. Data rate, we're gonna leave it the same. And now just hit add to render queue and go ahead and render it out just like that. Now, if you wanna export to YouTube at 4K, there's only a few settings you're gonna have to change. So what you'll do is go up to timeline and go over to timeline settings again. This time we're gonna hit timeline resolution and just go to ultra HD. Don't do the 8K, but do the 3840 by 2160, okay? Very big difference. So click OK after that. Now it's going to automatically adjust your preview window here. So go over to deliver tab now, and on the video tab, you'll see that our resolution is now 4K, but we have the same bit rate, and that's obviously not what we want. So I'm going to change the bit rate to 95,000. Now just hit add to render queue and go ahead and render that bad girl out. Now before I show you the best TikTok and Instagram settings, these settings can't add energy or depth or even emotion to your videos, regardless of the platform that you're uploading it to. Now, that's where something like Epidemic Sound comes in, the sponsor of today's video. You can browse through their massive library of music to find the song that perfectly matches the vibe that you're going for. I've personally been using Epidemic Sound for over three years. Yes, literally before I started this channel. And the best part is that when you use their music in your social media or YouTube videos, you can still monetize them without ever worrying about getting a copyright strike because not all free music will stay free forever. Right now, for the month of June, they're giving you 50% off of the annual personal plan on top of the already 30-day free trial if you use my link in the description and enter the code BILLY50. Now, the best settings for TikTok and Instagram Reels are actually gonna be the same exact settings. Heck, you could use this for YouTube Shorts if you want. So, if you're converting from a 1920 by 1080 video or something like that, what you're gonna have to do is right click on the timeline right here that you already have and duplicate it. Now, double click on the timeline to open it up and you can also just rename it because obviously having timeline one, timeline one copy can be a little bit confusing. So I'm just gonna change it to reels like this. Then right click on the new timeline, go to timeline settings and change this from 4K because this is what it currently is to 1080 by 1920. Now, once you do that, you'll notice that there's a lot of black space on the top and the bottom right here. So what you're gonna have to do is reposition each clip so that it actually fits within the frame. Now, you'll also have to do this for titles because titles aren't smart enough to just move themselves to the proper place, unless you're using our modern titles. If not, like I said, you're just gonna have to resize each title manually, but with our modern titles, you don't have to do that. What you're gonna do is instead just start resizing your main footage and the titles are gonna automatically resize themselves to the frame. Once you've got all of that done, you're gonna go over to the deliver tab and once again, type in whatever name you want add the location, and then under export video, you're gonna make sure that the format is MP4, the codec is H.264, and then you're gonna leave all of this the same because your resolution was controlled by our timeline settings. Now, the thing is, is under quality, 
we right now have 95,000 and that right there is just way too much. You're gonna have a massive file. So what you're gonna do is actually change it just to 5,000 right here because that's what TikTok, Instagram Reels and YouTube Shorts actually recommends. Then you're gonna make sure that all the settings stay the same right here. Under audio, keep it on AAC, leave the data rate the same. Now just hit add to render queue and render this thing out. But before you export, there are a ton of other time consuming things that go into the video editing process. So to speed up that process, check out these 10 time saving tricks for DaVinci Resolve or check out this other video instead. Until the next one, peace.